What impact has the organization had on you personally for, and maybe you can talk about how long you've personally been involved with the organization and, and what effect has it had on, on you as a, as a person? So, Rick? Uh, well, for me, uh, I, I've, uh, I became a Kiwanian in 1991. Uh, I had a neighbor come around the block. I was raking the leaves, and, and he said, uh, you should come out to Kiwanis. And I said, what's Kiwanis? And uh, so he said a few things, and, and uh, I had a, a son born the year before, and I had, my wife was pregnant with another one, so I've got little kids. And so he, he said, you know, it's, it's all about kids, and, and uh, you like hockey, because I was involved with the Austria Generals. And, uh, at that point in time, and uh, he says, uh, you know, we have a Triple A midget hockey team, and you should, you know, so he said a couple things that tweaked my interest, and so I came out, and and uh, I've been involved ever since. So um, uh, that's pretty much how uh, how I got uh, how I got started, and uh, you know what uh, what impact it's had on me. Uh, I think it's made me more of. Uh, more of a, an outgoing individual. I, I do, I, I, you know, people, people say, you know, the, that, you know, don't ask him a question because he, he can't, he doesn't know the answer. He doesn't know, he doesn't know to say no. And that's like, basically like, you know, like, you know, Michelle says, do you want to come on the air? Sure. It's like, why not? You know, right. <laughs> uh, Kim, what about you? So, it was 2002 that I originally joined, uh, and George Young, uh, a fellow Rotarian, uh, asked me kind of the same same idea. Have you considered? And I was like, Well, what's what's Rotary, and and what's it all about? So I went to a couple of lunches, and uh, more I learned about it, the more that I I realized that this was something that I wanted to be a part of. Uh, I was running a business at the time, uh, so I did take a bit of a, a leave because I really needed to focus on that. And then when I came back to the club uh, in 2012, uh, I felt that I had a, uh, I, I was definitely a renewed, ener a renewed energy and I was ready to, to commit. Uh, and especially since uh, when, I be when I was asked uh, and agreed to become a part of the board uh, and then sort of moving up through that I was learning more about the club learning more about the organization uh, attending district conferences the uh, Toronto uh, in Toronto this year in June is actually the uh, international convention so there'll be over 30,000 Rotarians from all over the world uh, and it's in our backyard so that's just going to be mind-blowing so I would say as far as the the impact the more involved I've become in Rotary, the more engaged I've become. Uh, it's just opened my eyes to uh, not only the need in our community, uh, but internationally. And the, uh, what local or what like-minded people, doesn't matter what service or organization you're a part of, when we actually put our minds together, um, we can do a lot of good. Yeah, I started in Knights of Columbus about a dozen years ago or so now, and uh, the impact is when you get into helping people, no matter what it is that you're helping them with or for, it's almost selfish. The good feeling you get from it, and you've got to have that feeling again. And so it just sort of self-feeds. Uh, also, you do realize how some people are in really desperate need and they're very invisible to most of the people you know you, you talk to people and say oh yeah it's a great little town oh there's not much here as far as poverty and obviously crime and all that sort of stuff until you really get looking at it and there is quite a need out there far more than most people realize <laughs>